But in this connection, I wish to tell you one of the most beautiful episodes which I lived while I was in jail. The first years we were in solitary confinement. But then we were put in big common cells, in a cell with 200 prisoners, perhaps. It was hell on earth, you know. Dirty and hunger and beatings and whatever you like. Impossible to sleep with 200 in the same room and so on. And uh, they were men of all kinds of categories. They were former generals of the Royal Army and capitalists and professors. And they were rank and file, some peasants, some workers and so on. And uh, we had in our cell a peasant. He knew his Bible well, but except the Bible, he probably had never read a book. And his ambition was to win for Christ a professor of the Royal Academy of Science who was in the same cell. Now, he, he did not know to explain many things. The, the professor put questions. He did not know the answers. And he said, sir, I don't know all these things, but I know I walk with Jesus. I talk with Jesus. Go away. The circle of prisoners were around. Go away. What lies do you tell us that you walk with Jesus? Jesus has lived 2,000 years ago in Palestine. If I would show you a globe, you could not point where Palestine is. How can you walk with Jesus? He's dead since 2,000 years. And even as... If it would be as you Christians say that he's somewhere in heaven, the heaven is also far away, millions of light years away. You can't walk with Jesus, you can't talk with Jesus. And he replied, you might be right in your thinking, but I walk with Jesus, I talk with Jesus, I see Jesus. Now the professor was really indignant. You dare to say that you see Jesus? Yes, sir, I see him. Listen, you say that you see Jesus. How does Jesus look to you? Wrathful, indignant, annoyed, bored, indifferent, happy to see you? Or does he sometimes smile to you? Sir, how did you guess? He sometimes smiles to me. Jesus smiles to you? What a stupid thing, he said to all the prisoners around. This man says that Jesus smiles to you. Jesus smiles to you? Yes, he does. Show me how Jesus smiles. I'm 80. That was the most beautiful episode in my life of 80 years. This farmer was very, very ugly, as we all were all very ugly. We were hungry and we were beaten. We were all like scarecrows. Mm -hmm. We were only skins and skin and bone with dark circles around our eyes, and we were unwashed and in this uh, uniform of a prisoner. We were very, very ugly, unimaginably ugly. And his face began to shine. There are pastors in Canada for whom it is difficult to believe the whole Bible. Mm. We can believe the whole of it. We can believe the miracles because we have seen transfigurations as on Mount Tabor. Mm. This man was transfigured. He began to shine. And a gorgeous smile appeared on his face. I'm used to see smiles. My wife smiles much. I'm used to see smiles, but I've never seen such a beautiful smile. There was so much yearning in the smile, and so much compassion for the lost soul whom he had near him, and so much desire to see him saved, and so much love and so much goodness. The whole splendor of heaven was in this smile. And the professor bowed his head and said, Sir, you have seen Jesus.